This is lesson 167, number skills. We have something kind of fun today, and that is finding before and after numbers. So I'm, we're going to first find an, the number, and then you're going to say what comes before and after. Okay, and I have this little oval here, and when we find it, we're going to circle the number I say, and then you can see what comes before and after then. Okay, here we go. I want you to find number 54 somewhere on this chart. And the way to find it is to go across the top till you find the 50 family, and then go down till you find 54. Do you find 54? Okay, let's drag that over here. Now we have 54. What comes before 54? Which direction would you go? You would go up. So before 54 is 53. What comes after 54? What direction would you go? Down. So 53, 54, and 55. Very good. So I'm going to put that back over here. And let's see if you can find 13. Now you know it's in what family? The teen family. So let's take our circle, our oval. I'm going to slide it over here and we're going to go across till we get to the teen family. That's one's family, teen's family. Now the 13 is a thir e. 13. So as we were going down, you passed the before number. We haven't gone to the after number yet. Okay, so 13 is the number. What comes before 13? You go up to 12. What comes after 13? 14. Very good. And I'm going to put that back really fast. Okay, the next number I'm going to call out is 59. So let's take our oval and start over here. 59 is in what family? In the 50 family. There's 50. Now we have to go down until we get to 59. 59. So there's 59. So we, we need to find what comes before 59. That one's kind of easy. Because we go what? Which direction now? We go up to 58. So before 59 is 58. Where? How do we go to get to the next number after 59? We go down. Oops, we can't go down. There's no numbers down there. So we have to go to the what? The next family. Can we go across? No. Nope. We have to go to the top of the next family. So let's go up to the top of this family. 60. So before 59 is 58. After is 60 because we had to go to the next column. Because that's the end of the 50 family. So you have to go to the 60 family. And we have to go to the daddy of the 50 family. Or 60 family. Okay, I'm going to do one more. It's going to be a little harder. We're going to go to the 90 family. Let's take this and go across until we get to the 90 family. It's going to be a 90. Okay, now we have to go find what comes before. So we go up. Oops, there's no numbers up there. So we have to go to the bottom of the previous family or the before family. So we have to go to the bottom of the 80 family. So before 90 is 89. 89, 90, and what comes after? 91, that's right. Okay, I'm going to put that back where it began. It started and go to the next slide. Okay, these are flashcards. We've done these quite often. So let's add really quickly.
And we're going to go kind of fast, and I'm going to put dots so that we can count real fast, too. Oops, got to go there. Dots. Ready? Here we go. Big numbers, three, three, four, five. Oops, I need, I want some nice color there. Let me get the big one. So three, four, five. Okay, so two plus three is five. Big numbers, four, five, six, seven. The number is seven. Six. One more is seven. That's right. Start at five. Five, six, seven, eight, because we counted three more. Now, this is the big number on the bottom this time. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's ten. We're going to start at the big number and count two more. Four, five, six. See what I'm doing? Just putting two up. Just touching the points there. Here we have four plus one more is five. That's right. Let's go seven, eight, nine. Ooh, are you getting these fast? Eight, nine, ten. Some of you are probably just going eight plus two is ten. And that's good. That's really great that you do that. If you're still having to count, that's fine. Just start at the big number and count two more. Nine, ten. That was my doggie. She was shaking. She wants to go outside, so you're going to hear her a little bit. So, nine, ten, and that's the answer. So, I'm going to clear that. And then we're going to go to the paper. Have your paper out. If you don't, then you need to stop the video so that you can get your paper and then come back. But um, we're going to go on. I'm going to um, read the instructions. Put your name on the paper. Put your name on the paper. Always. So, here we go. We're going to do color one half of each shape. That means you color one out of two pieces. Now, you don't have to color the same piece I do. But you can color, oh, let me do that one, okay, I'm going to do my, wow, that's a big circle, so I'm going to make a smaller circle, a little bit, let's see, bigger than that, that looks, i uh, go back to the other, I have to make up my mind on my side, a pencil, there we go, so we're going to color one of these sides, not both sides, just one side, so I'm going to color one half. That's kind of a funny looking color. It's kind of an orangey color, but this is a, a see-through one that it does that. Okay, so now we're going to go to the circle. Let's color one half of the circle. I'm going to do it in, oh, let me get purple. Okay, top or bottom? Ah, hard decision. I'm going to do the bottom. Cross around here. Okay, so I'm going to stop there because you can do, I think you can finish the rest of these. Let's go down to the bottom where there's lots and lots of words. Lots of words. So I'm going to go back to my pencil because we're going to need that. Okay, it says listen. Listen. Listen as your teacher reads the story problem. So what do you have to do? Listen. Okay, so remember, we don't do the first box. We do the box plus box equals box, right? Box plus box equal box. So we're going to do that, and then afterwards we bring this up here. So are you ready? Put the first number in that you hear right there. Second number goes here, and then um, we'll add it up later, okay? Here we go. Liz, that must be Liz. Liz picked three daisies for mom. How many? Liz picked three daisies for mom. Let's write that number in here so we don't forget it. 
three, and four, how many? Four daisies for grandma. How many? Four. Okay, so let me read that part again. Liz picked three daisies for mom and four daisies for grandma. How many daisies did she pick? So, which one's the big number? Three or four? Four's bigger, so let's put up three fingers. Are you ready? Count on your fingers from four. If you know the answer, go ahead and write it. But let's check it too. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, so seven. Put se whoops, seven in here. And then take this number and put it in here. Seven. That's my doggy rattling her, her gate. Okay, so I believe that's all for today. She wants some attention. So Anyway, this lesson is done, so I'm going to erase my marks. Go ahead and finish the top part and put your name on the paper. And then I will say bye-bye.